Hey guys, in this video, I'll be comparing 2018 Olympia winning Sean Roden and the 2023 Texas Pro winning Andrew Jacked. I just did a comparison between Andrew and Flex. However, I wanted to see how this very much improved version of Andrew Jacked would stack up against Sean Roden. Like Flex, Roden was known for that very small waistline, aesthetic at that as well, and his great flow, but with the addition of razor sharp conditioning, especially in 2018 when he won the Olympia. Now, before the video starts, if you like my content, please consider liking and subscribing as it helps grow my channel. With that all being said, let's get into this video. Here's the first pose, the front double, and wow guys, look at the flow and the shape of these two. Although Sean looks great, I'm especially drawn to Andrew, as his arms look bubbly and full and his abs are just popping, and on top of that, his V-taper looks phenomenal. Moreover, his tan at the Texas Pro was just spot on. It looks like he has like a superhero-esque sheen on his physique. Both presented great quads as well. However, I do prefer Andrew's as his have deeper cuts and look a little bit more polished. It's not like Sean is bad here by any means. He looks amazing. However, he is a little bit flat and Andrew is just beating him in every aspect apart from maybe the forearms. The front lat spread is an incredible pose for both guys, as the detail that they present everywhere is just world class. Take a look at the striations in the shoulders and chest for both, along with the well-etched, clearly visible abs in this pose. I will say that Andrew easily wins the midsection though, as I can't even think of someone else that comes close to that level of symmetry and aesthetics in the midsection, especially during the front lat spread. However, Sean's feathering in his quads is like icing on top of a cake. Both fill out the pose to a around the same degree in the lats. However, like in the last pose, Andrew looks a whole lot fuller almost everywhere. So while Sean does have fine details in the quads and looks super dry, Andrew's impeccable symmetry and flow coupled with his bubbly fullness wins him this pose. Also on top of that guys, his width in this pose is tremendous. Moving to the side, we have the side chest, and this is a pose that Sean really slams the door in. Look at the side leg detail, I mean the glute striations, quad ham tie-in, just the overall granite-like condition is insane. Upstairs, he is just as impressive as his arm looks huge and cut and his delt and chest are ripped. He shows a lot more thickness from the side in my opinion and he has virtually zero flaws apart from, you know, his weaker calves and triceps. Andrew looks great too and he might even be winning in the upper body. Now, someone pointed out to me, no, no pun intended, the pointiness of Andrew's rear delt. So I ask you guys, do you think it throws off his flow? Let me know down below what you guys think. Now, apart from that, his delts and chest are super ripped and his arms and and chest show great fullness. While the upper body is pretty close, Andrew just can't compete in the lower half, conditioning wise of course, so Sean would take this one. The rear double is definitely a close pose, as I'll tell you right off the bat that Andrew wins in the upper body, while Sean would win in the lower half. Andrew's back is just slightly better than Sean's, however, he handily wins the arm department, which gives him the win in the upper half. Sean's arms aren't inherently bad, however, there's nothing really that stands out about them guys, and they don't really look too impressive. Now, he does come back swinging though, as his glutes and hamstrings are way, way better than Andrew's, as they are absolutely peeled to the bone. Are strided glutes and conditioned hamstrings enough for Sean to win this pose? Let me know down below. Personally, I would give him this pose as his back isn't falling behind too much and he most certainly wins the lower half by a lot. Here's the second and last back pose, the rear lat spread, and this may be much more of a convincing win for Sean than the last pose. He shows much more lower back crispness and detail overall, and his traps are much more pronounced and defined, and on top of all of this, his Christmas tree region is clearly visible. Moreover, those hamstrings and glutes are in top tier condition, I mean we saw that in the rear double, so it's undeniable that Sean is just on another level in comparison to Andrew. This is because Andrew's glutes and Hams look so underwhelming in comparison, and his lower back area is kind of washed out. Sean does fare so much better in this pose and almost walks away with it too, if it weren't for Andrew's back with putting up somewhat of a fight. Wow, guys, I'm looking at the side tricep and I am just bombarded by the sheer aesthetics that these two guys present. I mean, look at the midsections on both. Absolutely insane. The flow, insane. I mean, wow, guys, this is definitely a hard one to judge. 
looking at the triceps themselves, Andrew definitely has Sean beat as his look to be twice as large and full. However, apart from that, this could go really either way. Both present great detail and feathering in their quads. Their delts and chest are full ripped and aesthetic too. I mean, come on guys, let me know who you prefer and why, but I'll tell you that I prefer Roden here as his flow is crazy and he presents more width across the shoulders. Here's the ab and thigh, and I stated before that Flex and Andrew had the two best ab and thighs of all time. However, Rodin is surely up there too. Both have incredible feathered quads, deeply cut and separated abs, and great V-tapers as well. In the midsection, I'd have to give Andrew an advantage in the abs themselves, while Sean would win the surrounding muscles and detail. While this one is definitely super close, it could be a lot closer if Sean was just a bit more full, as his chest and quads look a little flat compared to Andrew's. Andrew is just as full as a house, he has one of the most symmetrical, eye-pleasing set of abs ever, and some insane quads and width. He most definitely wins this pose in my eyes, and he could certainly be vying for the title of the best ab and thigh, you know, very, very soon. Here's the last pose of this comparison, the most muscular, and I really can't say it enough, guys. Andrew's fullness and pop really makes him stand out against anyone. His condition is spot on from the front, the symmetry is insane, and there is not a single negative that I can find on his physique. I can basically say the same thing for Sean as well, as his arms and delts are huge, his chest and quads are ripped, and his midsection is near perfect too. Both look great here, so it really comes down to personal preference. So personally, I really like the way Sean is hitting the pose, as his quads present really nicely with great sweep, his delts and arms look huge, and his traps kind of, you know, stick out like crazy. That's just my opinion though, and I definitely wouldn't fault you for saying Andrew looks better. Alright guys, so that about does it for this video. Again, this comparison really shows you how good Andrew's 2023 Texas Pro Physique is, as he is able to hold his own against a Mr. Olympia champion. His aesthetics and flow will carry him super far in this sport, and if he dials it in from behind, he certainly will be a threat for the Olympia title. Anyways, I hope you all enjoyed this video. Let me know what you guys think about the comparison, who you had winning, and I'll see you all in the next one. Thanks for watching.